Hey, it's Mike with Fleetwood RV. Today we're going to take a look at a very family-friendly bunk model. That's a Discovery LXC 40G. So here's the Discovery LXC 40G. This particular exterior paint graphic is Riverstone, and there are three other exterior graphics. One will be Renew, the other one is Lakefront, and the last one is Flight. With all those exterior decors, you're still gonna get the double clear that we put on all of our diesels. That's where we put like three coats of clear on this. We sand it all the way down, and then we put two to three more coats of clear on it. And what that's doing is eliminating these paint lines when you run your hand across them. It gets rid of a lot of the orange peel that you typically get in a clear coat, and plus it builds that UV protection. And that's gonna keep your colors on your unit looking bright for many years. We'll start up front here. This unit is built on the Freedom Bridge. That Freedom Bridge is something that is specific to all Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler products. But we have two seven and a half inch I-beams that run the full length of this motorhome. Most of your motorhomes, every other one that I know of, is built with C-channels. So an I-beam is basically another C-channel that's butted up on the back side of it, really enhancing the strength of your motorhome. This has an L9 engine, has 380 horsepower and 1150 foot-pounds of torque. So power is not gonna be a problem in this unit. We have dual fuel fills. Our first luggage compartment here is standard. This is gonna be all open for storage. We do have the optional pull-out tray here. And again, this is on a more ride slide tray. And going back to the next compartment, this is full pass-through storage. The 90-inch slide tray in this bay is standard and the next bay over it is optional to have an additional tray put into this compartment if you look inside that compartment you see it's all citadel lining this is all fiberglass it's all composite you do not have to worry about anything rotting there's no wood in this basement and then if you look up it's all sheet steel lined underbellies again not that cheap darko you find something you would see in a fifth wheel you're not going to have in your motorhome it's all sheet steel and then real marine grade plywood on the bottom side of it moving up top we have our exterior entertainment system it is a samsung tv this is on a swivel and then right behind it you can see we have a sound bar located up top as well next compartment is additional pass-through storage so technically all three of these bays tie into one large bay here's our electrical compartment we have our central vac system right here right here is our transfer switch so we have our power from the post coming in and power from our generator so that's going to automatically detect which power is supplied to the motorhome and it's going to switch that between those automatically and your generator is always going to take priority over the post we have our 30 amp solar charger right here for the 300 watt solar panel if you do get the technology package standard is a 100 watt and right here we have a slide out disconnect switch so if you want to take extra safety precautions and cut all power to your slide outs you can do that right there Right here, we have V-Ride. This, what V-Ride is going to do, it's a uh, Freightliner option, or Freightliner feature, and it's going to stable this unit up. That way, there's no shaking back, to, back and forth. So when you back out an uneven driveway, your unit's not going to sit there and shake. When you take a curve, you're not going to get that drifting feeling where it's kind of shoving you out of the lane. It's going to handle a lot better taking those curves. And this has a 24,000 pound rear axle. That's the largest axle that I'm aware of. And you pair that 24,000 pound axle with the 12,400 pound front axle, and that's giving you 36,400 pounds of gross vehicle weight. Next compartment, we have storage up here. Again, all metal, no wood in our compartments. And that is a 2,800 watt pure sine wave inverter. 
since it's pure sign, you know all the uh, electronics inside are safe. Again, more storage. And right here is our, electro or our hydraulic pump for our jacks. If for some reason you couldn't get your jacks to retract and you're at a campsite and need to get home, you can loosen up the valves in here and eighth inch Allen wrench. And that's gonna let hydraulic fluid come back into the reservoir. So it relieves all that pressure. And then on the back of the motor, we can run those uh, jacks up manually. Then you gotta tighten up your valves again so the jacks don't fall. So you're never gonna be stranded at the campground because of your jacks not retracting. Now onto the back side here, we have a 10,000 pound hitch. So with that, what do we say? 36,400 pound GVWR, we got a 46,400 pound gross combined weight rating. So that means fully loaded down, we can still tow that full 10,000 pounds. We have brand new for 2022 is our brake sink. That comes from Freightliner. It's a supplementary air supply for your tow vehicle. Great thing about this is it is a standalone system. So safety is never gonna be compromised if something happens to your tow vehicle. Your tow vehicle braking system and your primary vehicle are two complete different systems. We have the two piece ladder and we have a backup camera with one way audio. That way you can communicate with the driver whenever you're guiding them into tight spaces. And one neat thing we do right here is our aqua hot. So our aqua hot's clear up at the front of the unit, but we run that exhaust pipe all the way out the back. This way we're not um, blowing all the fumes onto your neighbor, or if there's a crosswind, it's not coming back underneath your coach and going onto your entertaining side. Run it out the back, get it out of the way. Moving over to the passenger side, we got our air fill or air intake up top above the belt line, giving you clean air. Our first bay on this side, we have four house batteries and there are more in the next base, but here's four six volt house batteries. We have our intake or air filter right there. You change that whole metal canister. You don't have to open it up to change a filter on the inside. Four house batteries over there and another two house batteries right here. That's giving us six six volt house batteries. And then we have two 12 volt starting batteries up top. So if you need to jump your unit, come to the top two, not the bottom two. We have some storage here for maybe some def fluid and we have a 13 gallon def tank. This unit's using roughly two and a half percent of your fuel consumption. There's that badge reminding us of the V-Ride that we have. This compartment here is our utility bay. Everything is electronic on a LXE. So we have our water hose on a power reel, and then we have our 50 amp power cord on a reel as well. We got holes routed in the bottom, that way we can close this bay up and still be able to plug our unit in, have our water hooked up. We have a whole house filter. This is recommended to be changed about every 8,000 gallons. We have our water heater bypass, our low point drains. When you're winterizing your unit or if you need to get the water out of your lines for some reason, you can come right here and drain all that off. We have our exterior shower. And if you have all this water supply, you need to have access to your water pump, right? That's right here. Sandy flush to help clean out those tanks. Um, gravity fill for our potable water. And mentioning the tanks, one thing that we do unique here at Rev is we have V-shaped tanks. The wedge tanks is what we call it. What that's doing is since the, the black tank is wedged and tilted forward, all of the stuff inside the black tank comes to the bottom and tilts towards the drain. That's going to stop a lot of sloshing around and plus what it's going to do is allow it to drain very easily and not have to worry about mounding or anything like that. So you can spend more time camping and less time in this area. Coming up to the next bay, this, we'll look at all three of these real quick together. So again, all three of those bays come together and a neat thing on that Freedom Bridge, we're bouncing around a little bit here, but these bars right here take all that weight from the edges of your motorhome. We run our slide out boxes out. We have our galleys, our big residential refrigerators. All of that is hanging out off the side of your unit. So what this is gonna do is take all that weight 
and channel it back in to the center of the coach and keeping the weight real low. So now it's in the center, it's at the bottom, making your unit again more stable. And the next compartment, we have an Aquaha 400D. What that's doing is gonna supply all the hot water for your unit and it's gonna supply all of the interior heat for your unit. But the good thing about the heat that you get out of an aqua hot versus a, a propane furnace is an aqua hot depletes none of the humidity, the ambient humidity. So you wake up, you feel fresh, you're not itchy, your sinuses are not irritated. And that can be ran off the same 100 gallon fuel tank provided by Freightliner or for light loads, you can run it off all electric. So there's no propane on board here. It's one less tank you have to fill up, one less tank you have to worry about running out. The next compartment is we have our windshield wiper fluid, a little bit of storage, and up top we have a couple air chucks. What that is, one's gonna supply air, and then one's gonna allow you to put air in your ping tanks in an emergency. If this, first, obviously your brakes are ran off the air, so if you need to get air to release your brakes, you can put, air into that right there the front here we're on a slide this is reinforced with metal right here so you can pull it out and we have an 8,000 watt Cummins Onan generator that is ran off diesel underneath it we have a start up front and your hour gauge easy access to your generator and plus if you need to clean your windshield or something great spot to do it and speaking of cleaning your windshield we have the top mounted windshield wipers right there now we're working with gravity not against it and the big chrome bus style mirrors and in those mirrors we have the optional lane or blind spot detection plus our cameras are mounted way up top that way you got a nice overhead view of what you have beside you and they're not getting loaded up with road grime down here at the bottom so that's the exterior of the 40g let's jump inside and look at some of the interior features all right now that we're inside the 40g let's take a look at the access we have to all of our amenities when it's closed up in travel mode so as you can see here plenty of uh, room to get into the refrigerator which is conveniently located right beside the driver and passenger seat. Coming through to the dinette, full access to that. The galley, plenty of room to get to the pantry. Anything in the galley. Come through into the bathroom, full access. You can get to the bathroom the same way you could if this coach was opened up in camping mode. If you wanna to get to the bunk beds, we have a door right here so we have full access to the bunks and last the master bedroom again pocket doors full access to the master bedroom so you can see with the 40g access is not limited almost any to get to all of your amenities when this is closed up so now we're going to open up this unit and take a look at the interior so here it is all opened up in camping mode. This particular interior decor is the Spanish moss and we have it paired with the winter fog cabinetry. The winter fog is brand new for 2022. It's that white painted wood, but it has gray glazing on it and then gray accents in it. Looks really nice, holds up the fingerprints really well. And if you want something even brighter, you can do the heritage painted wood, which is a solid white painted cabinetry with none of the gray in it. We also have Whispering Wind. That is going to be the wood toned, wood grain patterns, but it has a gray accent to it. And then the other one is brand new for 2022 is English Chestnut. And that's a mid-tone wood pattern. Not too dark, not too light. Um, great option, brand new for 2022. So let's start up in the cockpit and we'll work our way back and look at the features in the 40G. So up front, we have the OptiView digital dash, which is, again, all digital. Great thing about it is we can go through here and we can change all of the gauges located at the bottom to display whatever gauges you feel are important. 
Then over onto the left side here, we have our shades and our blinds. We have our heated mirrors and we have all of our mirror controls right here. Our basic headlight controls are located right up here on the dash. Coming right up above that, we have our mobile eye. That is the display for it. And now our sensor is located right there in the middle of the windshield. What that's gonna do is that's gonna provide speed zone detection. So if you feel comfortable going 10 mile an hour over the speed limit, you can program this to alert you if you go over 10 mile an hour over the speed limit. Makes it really valuable because it's programmed to how you drive. If it's just going off all the time, it's not much use to you because you're kind of going to ignore it. But we're going to close the blind here. So our camera meters and how's that work? So the mobile eye, other than the speed, speed zone detection, it's going to watch for pedestrians. It's also going to do collision mitigation. So you can program it to how far you want to alert you before impact of another vehicle and it will do lane departure as well. So if you go outside your lanes, it's going to give you an audible alert. Keep in mind, this does not take over any of your braking. It's going to just give you a visual and audio alert. Mobileye done a research and they say you can prevent like 85% of all accidents with a three second uh, warning. And that's what this uh, Mobileye collision mitigation here is designed to do give you that three seconds so hopefully we can prevent 85 percent of the accidents we have dual monitors this one right here is dedicated to your entertainment and plus if we hit the home button right here we have our built-in navigation as well you can program the height of your motorhome so this is not going to take you down any of those back roads where you can't fit while all of this is being displayed, we still have access to all of our cameras. And by hitting the mode button, we can show or pick how they are displayed. We can pick one, the other, all three, however you want to do it. Coming down below, we have our controls for our climate. Underneath here, we have our auxiliary start. If your batteries are dead, if you hold this down, it'll transfer the power from your house batteries to your chassis batteries so that way you can always start your unit you got a generator button switch our radio from park or travel mode and then we have keyless entry we have all push button start in the discovery lxc quick tip if you're ever out there and you cannot get your unit started with the button or by just by pressing it take the actual key fob it sounds weird but take the actual key fob and press it and I don't know what it is, but it works. So try that first before you start panicking. Um, down below, we have adjustable pedals. So we can, that control is right here on your left side of the column. So that way, guys like me with short legs still can drive. And we also have a adjustable and telescopic column as well. Right up above, we have our King satellite control modules and TV lockout, just a little bit of storage. Over on the other side, we have our Wi-Fi Ranger. So if you need to connect to the internet, right here's where you wanna come and do that. It has your password ID, the address you need to go to, to connect to it. All of that information is located on this panel on a sticker. This is the module for our Vega Touch, the Firefly system. We'll get into a little bit more of that when we get back to the panel, but brand new upgrades for 2022. Right here, we have our satellite or our antenna boost. So if you're hooked up to park cable, make sure you have this shut off and some one tens and lights for above the bed. This is a option. It's a drop down bed. It has a 500 pound limit on it. Very comfortable bed. It's kind of a thin mattress, but we have teak slats right here that are interwoven and it's acting as like box springs in your residential home. Right behind the driver's seat, conveniently located, we have our residential rural pool refrigerator. We have ice and water in the fridge or in the door. All the appliances in here are name brand. You're going to see rural pool, convection, rural pool microwave, and then a Fisher Pakel dishwasher. 
Again, all name brand, Samsung LG TVs. We have a or induction cooktop. And a stainless steel farm style sink. Probably wondering where the pantry is, right? So right here we have a pull out pantry. And if we need more countertop space, you press the button, it's on an actuator. We can pull that out, give us more prep space. Right above our dishwasher, a nice large pull out drawer. And storage underneath the sink, large area there. We have a rack that you can put all of your covers in. Great space to store, great place to store those. We have a fireplace, puts out 5,300 BTUs of heat. Again, this unit's all electric. That is an electric fireplace. We have a TV with a ton of storage behind it. This right here is our HDMI matrix box. What this is doing is it allow you to hook up, let's say the Blu-ray player that comes with it. We can hook it up to this matrix box, but we can display it on all of our TVs. You can choose which input, if you would, you want each TV to be displaying. All of that can be done right there. Coming over to the passenger side, we have a huge U-shaped dinette. What I love about this dinette is you can adjust it however you want. Most dinettes, you have designated spots where you can adjust, right? With this one, it has 360 degrees. So, and then you can lock it down. So if you have a little kid on the back, you can slide this all the way back to where they're secure. You're not gonna have to worry about them falling out. If you need more room in travel mode, you can slide this all the way back. Just don't forget to lock it down. And this does drop down for an additional sleeping space as well. Underneath both benches, we have storage. And then new for 2022, we eliminated all the carpet out of the slide. So this is actually like a vinyl woven material. It's real easy to clean, spill something on it. It ain't like carpet where it's gonna stain. Coming back to the sofa, this is a pull-out sofa. So we have additional sleeping space here. Now, granted this is a bunk model, but if you don't need sleeping space in your drop-down twin bed, if you don't need sleeping space with your drop-down dinette, we have our bunks as well. We have our master bedroom and the sofa. So if that's all that's not needed, we can opt in to have theater seating put in here as well. We have some solid surface countertop space right behind it with built-in cup holders. And now we're onto the Firefly panel. Just talked about the module that's located up there above the passenger seat. This is basically a centralized location where we can control anything in our, mo well, most things in our motorhome. And the new upgrade for this year, we went to the Eclipse module. We had the Vega module, now we have the Eclipse. The only difference is the Vega was operated from your smart device via Bluetooth. So Bluetooth range 70 feet or so. So within your campsite, you can usually control your motorhome. Now with the Eclipse module, it's operated via Wi-Fi. So no matter where you're at in the United States or the world for that matter, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection, you can control your coach. So you can connect right here in the settings and mobile apps. That's where we connect that. We hit the home button. Right here we can control all of our lights. Right here shows us our power. We can go make sure our inverter is working, turn it on and off. Right here is all of our lights. You hold down the on button. It turns on all lights to 100%. Anyone with an arrow, we can hold it down and dim the lights. And all of our controls right here for our heated floors, our aqua hot, everything's there. All of our fans, vents. So as you can see, a lot of controls through that panel. Now what makes a 40G a 40G? And that's this bedroom. I say it is a bunk model, but I call it a bedroom. How many bunk models do you know where you can get out of bed and have all this room to get dressed and have 100% privacy? And mom and dad can still get out of the bed and go to the restroom or go to the front of the unit and not affect 
your privacy at all. So again, I call it a bedroom. What else do you have in a bedroom? Storage, right? How many bunk models do you know that has four large pull-out drawers and two nice deep storage space right there as well? All bedrooms have windows, right? Each bunk has windows. And then, it's a bedroom, it's gotta have a bathroom, right? So slide the door off to the side, and now we have full access to the bathroom. So you get out of bed, you get dressed, you go to the restroom, all in privacy. So now let's take a look at the bathroom. We come into the bathroom, we have a nice full tile shower, adjustable shower head, we have a teak bench that folds down. We have obviously a porcelain toilet and solid surface tops. We have storage underneath and a nice medicine cabinet up above. And again, the way this uh, floor plan is laid out, everybody can get to this bathroom without interrupting anybody else. We can shut this off through this door is where the main living area would enter. From this door is where the bunks would enter. And then from this door, we have great access from the master bedroom. Which moving into the master bedroom, let me do some tidying up here. There we go. Moving into the master bedroom, we have a king bed. It does not articulate, so this will always be laid down so you can access it completely in travel mode. Right up above, we have some really deep storage. We have cabinets off to the side over there large nightstands. They're all solid surface with 110 USB hookups here and storage down below. We'll jump over to the wardrobe side. We have a LG TV, solid surface dresser top and eight large pull-out drawers for storage. And speaking of storage, I almost forgot, underneath this bed, we do have a ton of storage there. These are on lock, so you gotta slide the little red lever over and then we can drop the bed down. And let's not forget all the cabinets right here. Six large doors here for storage, all adjustable shelving. And again, something that Fleetwood does is finish out all their cabinets with Ozite. This makes for a quiet unit. You don't have to worry about your dishes chattering in the kitchen or whatever stuff you have stored in here making noise. And it just looks nice as well, it looks finished. We have stackable Whirlpool washer and dryer right here. That's standard in an LXE. And then we have a full length hanging wardrobe right here. We have the back, it's angled up, makes for a nice shoe rack. And that was our cushion for our drop down dinette and all the hoses for our central vac system. One thing I like to point out is right here we have a sticker and what that does is it shows all the paint colors that were used on your particular motorhome and it shows all the fabrics. So if you need an extra pillow you can go to that one, that sticker, and it'll give you the exact color and part number for that pillow. So that basically wraps up the walk around the Discovery LXE 40G. And now for the MSRP. Base MSRP is $447,718. Now again, that's MSRP. Make sure you go to your local Fleetwood dealer and or for best pricing and availability. Now, if you found this video to be useful, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, check us out on Facebook, and use the comment section down below I do my best to keep up on some of those comments, answer any questions you guys have, and thank you for watching.